Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to show you how we go about solving simultaneous equations. And to do this, I've got this example here. Find two numbers which add together to give six and the difference is two. And to do this, what I'd want to do is let those two numbers be, say, x and y. So I could form two equations. I could say that because the two numbers add together to give six, then if those numbers are x and y, it would be x plus y would equal six. And if the difference between those two numbers is two, then I'm saying that x minus y would equal two. And this is an example of solving simultaneous equations. Now, what is the values for x and y? Is x 5 and y 1? 5 add 1 gives 6, but 5 take away 1 gives 4, not the 2. So x equaling 5 and y equals 1 is not a solution for this pair of simultaneous equations. Now if you look long enough, you'll be able to guess what the solutions for x and y are. But that's not the point behind this video. Because questions like this are going to be a lot harder. And you won't be able to guess the solutions. So what I want to show you here is a structured way that we can go about solving these. And to do this, it's called the method of elimination. We start by numbering the two equations, say 1 and 2. And what we need to do is see if we can eliminate either the x's or the y's. And for this particular simultaneous equation, there's two ways that we can do it. That won't apply to all simultaneous equations, as I'll show you at the end of the video. But for now, this is a very basic one. And to eliminate the x's, because they're exactly the same, I can subtract the two equations, one equation from the other. And what I'm going to do is equation 1 take away equation 2. Always tell the reader what it is you're going to do when you're doing simultaneous equations. So if I've got 1x, or just x, and I subtract this 1x from it, I get no x's, so they get eliminated. When it comes to the terms in y, we've got to be a bit careful. Just show you why. We'll put some working down here. Because in equation 1, we've got plus y here. And then we're going to subtract, let me just write it in red, the other y term, which is minus y. And so if we do this, we've got plus y minus minus y. These two minuses being the same are replaced with a positive sign. So we end up with plus y plus y, which is 2y. So when it comes to subtracting these two equations, the x terms get eliminated, but the y terms come to 2y when we do that subtraction. So therefore we get 2y. And then we've got equals, and we've got 6 take away 2, which is 4. And if I divide both sides now of this equation by 2, I end up with y equaling 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So I've got one of the variables. Now to get the other variable, in this case x, all I need to do is substitute this value of y equals to 2, either into equation 1 or into equation 2. It doesn't matter. I'm going to substitute, and hence we'll just write it down here, substitute y equals 2 into equation, let's say, 1. And if I do that, what I've got is the x, which I'm trying to find out, plus y, which we now know is 2, so I'll replace it with the 2, equals the 6. And clearly, if I take 2 from both sides, I therefore have x equals 6 take 2, which is 4. So if I just recap, my solution then is that therefore 
x equals 4 and y equals 2. Now maybe you guessed that these two were the solutions. If not, we can check them out. 4 plus 2 makes 6 and 4 take away 2 gives us 2. So indeed this does work. And you didn't have to substitute y equals 2, as I say, into equation 1. If you had substituted it into equation 2, you'd have had x minus 2 equals 2. And it would have had to have been 4 if you had rearranged the equation for x. OK, now, it's not the only way of doing this particular question. In this example, I was able to eliminate x by subtracting the two equations. But because the terms in y are almost the same, they're 1y and this one is minus 1y, they're both 1y's if you like, but they share opposite signs here. Well, I can eliminate these y terms in a situation like this by adding the two equations. And I'll show you. So somebody else doing this question might well have done it this way, by adding the two together. And if I do that, what we've got here now is x plus x, which is going to be 2x, so we'll therefore have 2x. And when it comes to the y terms here, let's just run through this again. What we've got here is plus y. Always read the sign in front of your term, OK? And then we're adding, let's just put that plus in red there. We're adding this y term here, which is minus y. And what do we get? Well, a plus and a minus here is replaced with a negative sign, because the signs are different. And so you get plus y minus y, which is 0. So by adding the two equations together, when they've got opposite signs here, and yet they have exactly the same kind of y value, they get eliminated. And so we're just left with 2x equals, and if we add the 6 and the 2 together, 6 plus 2 gives us 8. And if we now divide both sides by 2, we end up with x equals 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So we've got x is 4. We can get the corresponding y value by substituting x equals 4 into any one of our equations, 1 or 2. Again, it doesn't matter which one we pick. Let's go into equation 1 again. This time, though, in place of the x, I write 4. So we've therefore got 4 plus the y equals the 6. And if I subtract 4 from both sides, I therefore have y equals 6 take away 4, which is going to be 2. So I end up with exactly the same result, that is, x equals 4, y equals 2. And it's good practice, by the way, to write your x value before your y value in your solution. OK, so I hope you've got that idea that you can either subtract or either add to eliminate the x's or the y's. But this is not always going to be the case. This is our aim when we're doing simultaneous equations to eliminate the x's or the y's, but it won't always be the case. And I'll show you. Now I have several examples here of simultaneous equations with their solutions. And I definitely encourage you to have a go at these. And the answers and how to, how to work them out are given in the Simultaneous Equations video 2, and then Simultaneous Equations 3, and so on. But with these questions here, they're more difficult than the one that I gave you here. Because you can't necessarily always subtract or add to eliminate one of the variables. For instance, in equation 2, what I notice here is that just the x terms are exactly the same, 2x and 2x. So the only way I could eliminate one of the variables from this equation here is by subtraction. 
the 2x subtract 2x would eliminate the x variables. I leave it to you to work out the rest, but if you're unsure, do check out that video, Simultaneous Equations 2. Now in this next example, example 3, you'll notice that the x terms are different. The y terms, we've got a 2y and a 2y here, but the signs are different. So I could eliminate these y terms by adding the two equations together. So if you'd like to see how that one is done, just go to Simultaneous Equations 3 or give it a go beforehand. Okay, there's your solution, x equals 3, y equals 1. Number 4, this one, again the x terms are different, so we won't be able to eliminate those. But I do notice that the y terms here, both are three y's and both have exactly the same sign. So how do you think we can eliminate the y terms here? Well, it's by subtraction, because they're exactly identical to one another. So I'll leave you to do that one. Again, check out Simultaneous Equations 4 if you want to see that answer. Number 5. Here we've got different x terms, but the y terms are exactly the same. 4y, 4y, and they share exactly the same positive sign. So the only way you can eliminate these two is by subtraction. Check that one out. Simultaneous equations 5. And in this one, number 6, well, this is the hardest type really. In this one, the x terms are not the same and the y terms are not the same. So adding or subtracting straight away from this one is not going to eliminate the x's or the y's. So to see how this type of question is done, just check out simultaneous equation 6. OK? Well, I hope that's given you a start on this, OK? And uh, by working your way through these tutorials, I hope you'll end up being able to solve simultaneous equations by the elimination method.